Greetings, everyone. Father Jimmy, hope we're doing well on this Friday. And yes, it is Friday, and it is the 25th day of October. Taking a look at our liturgy today, nothing spectacular. There's no feasts, there's no memorials, or even optional memorials of saints. But if you live in Wales, today in Wales is the feast of the six Welsh martyrs and their companions. The Welsh martyrs are the priests. Fathers Philip Evans and John Lloyd, John Jones, David Lewis, and John Roberts, and the teacher Richard Gwynn and 34 English companions who were executed for their faith during the Catholic persecution in England and in Wales from 1535 to 1679. Well, let's turn to our gospel for today, Luke chapter 12, verses 54 to 59, and actually the Hallelujah verse before that is in Matthew's gospel, chapter 11, verse 25, where it says, Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You reveal the little ones, the mysteries of the kingdom. And now going back to our gospel from Luke, chapter 12, Jesus said to the crowds, when you see a cloud rising in the west, you say immediately that it's going to rain, and so it does. And when you notice that the wind is blowing from the south, you say that it's going to be hot, and so it is. You hypocrites. You know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and sky. Why do you not know how to interpret the present time? Why do you not judge for yourselves what is right? If you are to go with your opponent before a magistrate, make an effort to settle the matter on the way. Otherwise, your opponent will turn you over to the judge. The judge will hand you over to the constable. The constable will throw you into prison. I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. So as believers in Jesus Christ, we all need to ask for childlike faith. As you just heard in that hallelujah acclamation before the gospel, it says, Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You reveal the little ones, the mysteries of the kingdom. Young children trust their parents completely. In the same way, our Father in heaven wants us to look to him with complete childlike trust. Having a childlike faith is far different from trying to figure everything out or seeking after knowledge of things that are clearly beyond our human comprehension. In speaking to the crowds in today's gospel, Jesus criticizes people who know the, how to interpret the appearance of the earth and sky and yet do not know how to interpret the present time. The time may be later than you think. So if there are disputes among us, let's make peace before it's too late. Let us correctly understand that as Christians we are to seek peace. We are called to be peacemakers and to settle disputes with our opponents before matters reach court, if possible. And we always have to trust and to have faith that Jesus will reveal to us through the Holy Spirit how we are to conduct ourselves and what we need to say to bring peace about in our corner of the world. Peace begins with us. And as lyrics to that popular hymn, Let There Be Peace on Earth Go, let there be peace on earth, and let it begin with me. Well, let us pray on this Friday. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty and sincerity of heart. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our loving Lord and Savior. Amen. Yes, it's Friday. Work week is ending for many of you, I'm sure, and you got a weekend to look forward to. Spend some time with your families. Get some prayer time in as well and certainly make sure you get to Mass this weekend. Enjoy the weekend. God bless you and take care.